Our players, uh, some of them have played alongside Fazi, but she's the quickest for me in the league. She's the most talented. If we're giving MVP at this level, she would win it definitely, of course, for her contribution. Uh, because the team has scored eight, and uh, she's managed to score this, the, <laughs> the seven, mm -hmm. only giving one goal to another teammate. But as it looks uh, for me, we are high on talent. But again, uh, Lady Dubs need to uh, be uh, very defensive. They need to be. They need to have a very good day at the back line because uh, with Fazil, anything is possible. And then for uh, lady, uh, that is she cooperates need mm. to be the then for lady dubs uh, they need to also be worried because like I said she cooperates is a group of team uh, who have experienced uh, players uh, players who've seen it all and players of course who are vying uh, to try win or remember they are the inaugural participants in the uh, FUFA women's group by then called Elite League that is in 2015 alongside Kawempe uh, Muslim so at this uh, juncture I believe if you have something to offer you need to correct mistakes you made when you were losing against Lady Doves. Uh, sorry, when you are losing against UCU and then coming to this game to try to uh, win the three points. Uh, Mike, uh, yeah. the quality of football so far displayed by the girls? Uh, absolutely wonderful and marvelous. If, if you have been following the games there, and uh, but the quality of the, um, the pitch is also good. Then, too, uh, we've seen some uh, quality players in Nasazi. You've seen uh, Fazia Kwaput. At, at first, I thought uh, we're not going to see good goals because in the first phases of the games, we didn't see so much of uh, um, attacking content from the, the players. But the fact is, uh, we've seen some good quality football, and I believe uh, if we go on like this, then there's a lot of, um, I mean, there's, the future is very bright for football. Yeah, Joel Muita, you must be joining us on the line now. Please talk us through two minutes of what exactly these teams have assembled for this particular game. I should say a big one for either side because they all know that uh, at the end of the 90 minutes, it will be the points that will determine which team will be going through uh, the playoffs, despite the fact that we have more, two games to go tomorrow. But uh, seven points, still top of the table. But I know that if they get three points today, they are all through to the playoffs. But for Chico Pret, they equally know that the points matter as well for them because they have three. And I used to have already won. They're in second place. Uh, Chico Pret in third place. They know that if they win today and play against Israel tomorrow, they will stand a chance. But of course, changing tactics for Chico Pret are two changes from the side that started against uh, the other game that they played on Wednesday, uh, including players like... Uh, uh, Akuku Penina uh, starting on bench and uh, Roda Nantege also starting on bench and they went for Sisa Nantongo to start in the middle of the park probably to try and stop and Rita Nabosa for looking out for Fazila Ikwaput who we all know she's the top scorer currently seven goals to her name she's looking to add to that tally and make sure maybe that she can enter double figures but for now I think it's a big contest for either side knowing that points from this game will determine exactly which two teams that will advance to the group stage to the semi-finals but for me i think a tough fixture for us and at the end of the night i mean i'll probably tell you which team probably will stand a chance as we go into the final games tomorrow thank you very much Joel Mita Fifi. the lineups are on our screens Daisy, Madam Christine, uh, come on to Fazil. I'm looking for her. Nancha, Nachi, Tony, and Lydia. But Fazil are the biggest name there alongside Babidi Lydia to uh, lead the striking line. And then again, uh, for she corporates, of course, the goalkeeper, Karunj Vanessa, being experienced and uh, leaving Uganda next season. Actually, she's leaving after this season, going for greener pastures. Uh, but again, you have to go to Anan Tongo Sise, uh, Fiona herself, then Noel in Nami. Remember, she scored a free kick and Burns, I know you don't forget that then also number tier favor their striker those are some of the players that uh, we should look forward to seeing uh, display beautiful football and try of course to expose better talent uh, because okay. uh, with shoe corporates it's a must win I'm a, Mike a tale of two captains goalkeeping captains it's a rare thing to see. Yeah, it's, it's rare to see, especially in women football. But uh, <laughs> you probably think um, they always lead by example. It's always good to command from the back. We've seen okay. her, especially Vanessa, I've seen her, I mean, command this team quite very well. And uh, you believe that if they can actually get the first 15 minutes on, on the run and uh, probably score a goal, then that would probably disorganize Lady, uh, Lady Doves there. And uh, it would give them a very uh, big psychological and uh, mental strategy in this particular game. But should they concede first, then it's going to be a very huge mountain for them to climb. 50, 20 seconds before we join Peter. 20 but seconds. I 50. think I fancy both teams scoring. For those of you who love to go to the bookmakers, if that uh, comes across. But I also fancy Fazila to score, even okay. if they don't win. Thank you very much. You guys, please uh, join Peter Tai for the commentary. We shall come back at the end of the 45 minutes. But remember, it's Lady Dubs in the blue playing.
She cooperates in the white. It's a must win game for both teams. See you. Well, coming to the second match of the game, Pupa here. From the Pupa Technical Center, it is the Pupa Women's League, Super League here. And of course, we expect a lot coming through from uh, the uh, two teams as they go down to pick up the pieces. Well, it's a moment of silence again, as usual. Well, there you go. The center referee will be able to get us underway with this match here properly as we get ready uh, to see if we can actually get something from uh, today's action between the Lady Doves here as they try to get something from the match. Lydia has already scored a goal today. And, of course, the top scorer for the moment, Iquaput, will try very much to see if she can go down and get her eighth goal of the campaign and try and see if we can actually pick up the pieces on the one-on-ones. What's well, very importantly, the prayer will be said and maybe the Almighty will be going down to give them some bit of a response later. We anticipate some good football, really, really good football if it can actually come up to speed here. But if you're just joining us, thank you so much for spending some time with us live. It is UBC TV, making sure you'll be able to get everything there is to get from the match today. Question remains, who will be the victor of the two? The victor will have higher chances for Lady Dubs if they win this one. It will be a matching ticket uh, to the semi-finals uh, come next week. And for She Corporates, if they lose this one, that means they will be vying for a chance uh, to stay uh, in the top flight. Uh, but of course, you already know Isra has been subjected to going down to the FUFA Women Elite League. But as it looks, a team with a top scorer, a team with maximum points, or actually not maximum, seven out of the nine, Lady Doves with a very good goalkeeper and a very good striker. Those are some of the attributes that you need to win games. And for she corporates, of course, you need the unity and to come back from the loss against UCU to try vie for maximum points. It's going to be for battle in the midfield and whoever wins it might go on to win this game. Favor number here for you, one of the strikers that always love to poach and run behind the last defenders, definitely she will be a player to watch as she corporates try to get the maximum points. We are off. Well, basically we're off here tonight as the she corporates will try very much to get the better of the Lady Doves here and are just waiting to progress as the game continues to drive up on the slow note. It's a dropping ball forward. This is Fazia Iquaput. We're trying to man up and trying to get the game rolling up. It's going to be a throw in, first throw in of the match. It'll be a throw to the lady corporate, which has begun very quickly. Flick on coming through there from number two, Dan Danelita. A little bit of a change in strategy when it comes down to a change. going to be ball here for the she corporates dressed in white today. And this will be brought in by Bridget Nabisalu. Will be the one looking to go slightly long here. Long from Bridget. Brushed away. There's a chance, but glides away. Unfortunately, Nabatia just could not be received on that one. Well, uh, Fazila Iquaput is that player that uh, many have been talking about in uh, this competition. Seven goals already. Long ball away by. Naka zero. Now stolen away perfectly by Nantumba. Ball up front now. The chase is on. Fortunately, Namiro just could not be caught in. It's very good stealing ball here from uh, the uh, Lady Doves as they continue to progress slowly by slowly. Well, the coach for the She Corporates will surely want to see his team going on to win something here. Mirunji Adrain throws that ball forward. And that will be another throw in here. 
Uh, well, before this fixture, the teams had met twice and each had won a game. The first leg, she corporates lost 1 0 and it was Fazira in Masindi. And the, the return leg, she corporates won at home. Susan, our team, was the scorer of the goal, but that was all in the last year where we had the league being halted by COVID 19. But corporates also lost to Lady Dubs in the women's semi final on penalties after 2 2 draw in 90 minutes. Yeah. That left 95% of the shoe corporate staff in tears Pull and heartbreak. Now. It's going to be given away by Daisy, the goalkeeper. Trying to front that ball away to Fazila. Tries to drop that ball forward. Intercepted here by Nakato. But not very far. The chase is not very bad onto the wing side. Low short. And that goes away for a goal kick. Uh, well, still a starting order in relations to the match of the night. She corporates up against the Corpor uh, sorry, the Lady Dubs rather. Question remains, how will this stand? Or how will this move on slowly? Well, Vanessa was poor in goal in the last match. A free kick came through and it went directly in when they lost to UCU. And now they will try to correct their mistakes and try to go for a three point. Madam Christine will be the one to throw this ball forward. Madam Christine. They're still fighting for that. Unfortunately, the ball just goes away. Thrown in by Wilma. A team. Madam Christine does well. The fight is not very energetic enough. Nabosa. Well, the referee says that will be a free kick now. Kick here to the she corporates. Free kick she corporates. Standing tall, standing very, very stout here. It's a free kick to be sent in very quickly and to be brought in quickly by Wilma Nantumwe. Well, tomorrow there will be Uganda Cup action. Tomorrow also the Ladies League will be going on. So it's a lot of football tomorrow. Yeah, but we'll probably go for Uganda Cup. Yeah, there is an express up against uh, URA. URA and uh, the funny bit about it, URA at top of the table, but I've lost two games against Express. <laughs> Home and away. <laughs> corner kick. Uh, corner coming up here for the She Corporates. And they'll be looking to get this ball very, very quickly. The She Corporate side. Still a game that can actually switch. To any angle. This is a she corporate corner. It is a team. Sends that ball in the D. Collected away by Madame Christine. This could be a chance for the shot. If it's driven in well and goes out. Good save from the keeper. Naka zero Daisy makes a beauty of a stopper there. And surely that was going in. Another corner coming in for she corporates. Corner brought in by a team in the D, punched away by Daisy. Now collected by C. Senatongo. Yeah. Yes. More pressure, driving through. And currently sent to the wing side. It's going to be another throw. Well, if Lady Dubs are to have a chance, Daisy has to be her best at goalkeeping. And not her, but Fazira. Yes. And Nabosa have to do well equally. Long from a team. Oh, the striker on that side, number Chia, trying very much to disorganize a Daisy. Away by Daisy. They dip down. And uh, Birunji are looking at this very well. It goes to throw in just after six minutes of play here. This was a chance for the short Fiona. It yeah. was a beautiful shot. Good, good save. Yeah, of course. Super shot. She knew she had a, she didn't have a chance to hold it firmly, but could play it away further, and that's what she did. Nakato. Victoria has awarded that for the free kick, so it's going to be a 
free kick here. And, uh, it looks like uh, Bridget Nabisalu will be the one to swing this ball in. The referee actually trying to switch the line a little bit further. As we can see if uh, this will be yielding something for the she corporates. They need actually to get this point if they can, maybe even three. Bridget Navisalu sends it inside. Punched by the goalkeeper, very close there. And away by Madame Christine. How <laughs> so <laughs> dramatic it was. And of course, there was high tension at the box, but when you have days in Akazuro, you have a custodian who can try, of course, to balance the pressure. And apparently at the moment, it is safety for Lady Doves. Pull away, collected by Favour. Favour actually fouled in the process. Is that a foul? Could it to the referee? Long by Birunji. It's more for the corporates. They are probing and probing. So it's the same thing for Fazila's uh, Lady Dubs. Collecting calmly here. It's a nice play there from Nabuma Fiona. Unfortunately, Favour just could be good. Yeah, she had a bad game uh, during the last outing, but apparently has tried to uh, be better in these last eight minutes and the coach did some adjustments dropping Nantege to the bench uh, bringing in Thung Janat who is having her debut season at the top flight Wilma Wilma again dropping forward now it's collected this is a Fiona Nabumba launching that ball on the far side this is Thungu Nabumba fouls. It's free kick. But just number 10, Thungu has actually brought in some bit of pace in here. Yeah, she came in for Nantege. I think the coach uh, just decided they should go for pace uh, instead of Nantege, who gave them momentum. But they needed probably to uh, onset, uh, bring speed into the game. Daisy with the ball. It's free kick to be sent in by Naka Zero Daisy. Away by Naka Zero. Collected perfectly at the back zone. Madame Christine. Now to Wilma. Who actually shields that ball very well, Wilma. Well, unfortunately for them, the ball hits the back of uh, a team. Goes out for a throw in. Lady Doves continue to drop up looking for Fazila being handled perfectly well right now by the yeah she, she has about five players she played with at Olida so they know the danger she poses and cannot just let her walk away scot free chest on now here comes Namido tries to shield it well Namido what can she do straight open up on favor there away by Birunji throw to the corporates Nabiro. Well, again, a team pushing on uh, Madame Christine there. It's going to be a free kick now to the Lady Doves. Yeah, she corporates have been better during the first 10 minutes. Actually, they are forcing Lady Doves uh, to get compact at the backside. That's why we see Madame sometimes getting congested with the two center halves and trying to help them out in clearing balls. Good pressure there, good play from Nakatu Amina. And that goes away for a throw. Birunji. Flick ball out, throw in here to Mishi Corporates. The coach will be very much energized if they can get themselves a win here. Nakatu. Favor. Birunji waiting. Pulled away by Nabusa at the midfield level, clipped away by Nakuya. Now stolen away a little while ago by Nantongo. Now it's a team. Has played almost every match. Oh, good save from the keeper. Wow, that was coming through from a team there. Well, I didn't see her going for goal. I thought she was going for cross at him. 
but they save from Naka Zero Daisy. She seems to be one goalkeeper that could be the goalkeeper of the tournament. Yeah, trust you. goalkeeper of the tournament, but she's also trying to outseed the first goalkeeper, Ruth Aturu, because if you go on and you focus on form other than class, she's done better than Aturu, who has just won her second game today. Just look at her goal. Daisy keeping Lady Dubs in the game. Was good ball through from a team. The tactic of hitting that ball was so sweet. She actually used the inner part of that boot, inner part of the boot open. Looked like a cross, but it was dropping through. Away by Nantumwe. That's going to be a throw in here to the Lady Doves all the way from Masindi. And the ones currently flying the flag of Masindi high. Nantongo. A team just cannot receive that goes for a throw. Time ticking away slowly by slowly. Doves zero. And the corporate zero. Rashida Nancha. Lydia goes slightly behind, swept away perfectly by Nakuya. I think the corporates have done so well tactically. Keep Fazida from receiving balls up front and keep Lady Doves from attacking your goalkeeper. They have done that so well, but can they do it for a full 90 minutes? That's the question. Well, watching this game on the stands are the players of Isra Academy. Who just lost a game. Yeah. In the last 15 minutes against UCU, conceding three in the process. Away by Wilma. Flicked on perfectly here. The half ball is not bad. Corner. Well, that was uh, Namiro Nam Nolin. Yeah, she wanted to uh, give the ball to Nam, but her favor. But Daisy was not having any of it. She didn't take chances and decided to play off the pitch. That's why we have the corner. It's ball through. A team. It's a very poor corner there from a team. And lucky they win themselves a throw in to be Nantumwe to actually go very much long. Roma. A team. A team again. Up again is Madame Christine. And uh, right in front of the assistant referee, Fouls. Lady Dubs. Well, today we actually did see two, uh, three goals scored late in the last 10 minutes when uh, we did see Isra losing their game today. They did lose that to UCU. The first 80 minutes, the goals came in late in the 10. Ikwaput Fazila doing very well, leaves <laughs> Nankato on the ground. Uh, this time she wanted to use her hand to help out in the muscling of of an opponent a uh, referee of course could not give her an easy way through and that's a free kick for she corporates they should be worried of her when she gets the ball it is quick response from lady dubs bridget nabisalu will be the one to go long long from bridget swept away again by the dubs nakato Race a team now. Nantongo dropping ball, but outside. Well, this is it. Ikopu tried to be very clever, and Nakato was not giving away. <laughs> was that a freaky Fiona? Or was that a freaky? Uh, no, I think uh, for me it was body check, uh, but uh, depends on where the referee was standing. For me, it's okay, you can leave her go on. But I think uh, the referee, uh, when he, she saw the stretch of the hand, then she thought probably the contact was enough to bring the defender down. That is why we have a free kick. But you love Fazila when she gets the ball. Her marker is supposed to be Nabi Salu. But apparently Nabi Salu is standing there, her colleagues, before, of course, Fazila reaches the destination. This is Fazila. Cross as well, wins the corner. I just love the way Nakato Amina is actually keeping an eye on uh, Fazila Ikwaput. You can see the difference in height of the two. But uh, Nakato Amina is showing us that sometimes the height does not matter. Fazila for the corner. 
Who tries to drop it but very poorly. Sometimes you expect a lot from her, then she gives you that. Well, the coach having a word with the favor, the striker for the corporates. Madame Rashida inside the D. Not very far again, but swept away gallantly by Namidimu Margaret. Two balls on the pitch. It's going to be confusion here. Lydia. Rashida. Foul. But this will go the other way around. To the Sheikh operates who have decided to deploy five offensive players Thungu, Namiro, Feva, Tim and Nabomba that means the coach is in need of a goal and three points at large Wilma will be the one to switch forward here but again this was the foul on Nakuya Sara and it looks like Nakuya was actually penalized for pulling Natongo Fazila Ikwa put now. She'll go for the shot. Good arms from the captain, Karunji Vanessa. <laughs> they were teammates at Olila. Enjoyed a very good wins. But now they're up against one another. And Karunji needs to be at her best. Otherwise, Fazila wants those goals. Her target was nine. She has already scored seven. And Bodea. Well, just reminding you that tomorrow it will be the Stanbic Uganda Cup coming to you live on UBC TV. Express URA. It will be a sweet game tomorrow. Poor ball from Shiona Nabumba. She tries to fight very hard to win possession of that, but now it is accepted perfectly. Nabosa. Fazila. Again, you can see Nakato always on the face of Fazila. Whenever Fazila gets that ball, there is a Nakato somewhere there. Foul. I think Fazila and Nabosa make Lady Dubs a complete team. They complement one another. Wherever one gets the ball, looks out for another. There is a connection between the two, but we all know uh, when it meant to are playing in India, they went hand in hand. When it was about deciding where to play again in Uganda, they went hand in hand and landed in Masindi. That is why probably their target is to try get Lady Dubs out of the group. Karunji. Long away from Karunji. Bouncing ball forward, now swept away well the Nakchitu. Wilma. Uh, throw in here to the Lady Doves. Well, they're trying to do everything in their power really to get this win, Lady Doves. The she corporates also not giving away any hope of Ray for that, Lydia. That was well a little while ago. Kristen, away by Namibibu. It's been a beehive of activity in uh, the FUFA Technical Center of recent. And from here we shall be having uh, Big league, uh, not big league, rather Uganda uh, Premier League match is also played here. Be a little bit later. The chess from uh, Namiro, not Goten. Well, this ground also hosts Premier League matches. The FUFA Technical Center in Jeru. Okay. I think it's Bull that plays here. Is it Bull? Yeah, Busoga United, even Chetu, maybe before transferring to Na Chisonga, they held their first uh, round matches at this stadium. Bull should have shifted to Kakindu. 
uh, but apparently Busoga United is using this. That's a foul there for number Tia. Who actually plays its games in Bugembe? Bull. Yeah. Where is Kakindu? Kakindu is, eh, is in the center. He's in the center. Kakindu is done in Jinja. Uh, he has some controversy there. Okay. Uh, land, land issues. Hey. You know, I don't differentiate them. Bugembe <laughs> and Kakindu. That's why, yeah, it's in Bugembe. Chabazinga Stadium. Chabazinga Stadium. You're right, Peter Otai. Long ball away by Namiro and that goes away for a goal kick. Actually, that is Daisy Nakazero who wanted to go for it, but apparently it was beyond her reach and they have a goal kick to their name. I'm told Lady Dubs is like the money bags of women football. They're injecting a lot, actually. Yeah, that's why you can actually see They have been Vipers. compared to the Vipers and then she corporates are like you are a... a. That's true, by the way, because you wonder how they could afford to actually keep Nabosa and Fazila Lady Dubs if they didn't have that money. They don't come cheap, really. Yeah, both teams have not had chances in the uh, Elite or Super League, but at least I've had chances in the Women's Cup, where she corporate lost to UC in 2018 in Shema, then Lady Dubs lost to Shemak at Lugogo. And again, Nakato swings her body on line and puts it out. Well, she's just like an engine that never stops running. Nakato Amina. She can run all day. Corner here for Lady Dubs. And will be brought in by Birunji. We want to deliver this ball into the box line and maybe get something for the team. This is Birunji. Ball swung through. Nakato with the clearance. Birunji keeps hold of it and puts it back in the area. It's in an area that could go. Oh, that is Nabosa on the screen. Yeah, Nabosa. But you can just see her. Just the gestures shows you that she's been exposed beyond Uganda. Nabosa and Fazia are the players to take Lady Dubs to the finals. In case they can. These teams have also played out uh, stalemates uh, on two occasions, though the other two occasions it was a win for Rich, which makes it the fifth meeting between both sides. Oh, now here comes a chance for favor. Can she shoot over the bar? Well, I think she was just in a hurry, favor. Really, she got a good favor to receive that ball there. But unfortunately for her, she just couldn't pay the favor over the bite went. Nambata doesn't do her team any favors, like her name suggests. She had the chance to put it a bit low, but apparently she didn't. And Daisy was beaten for me. She had come out of goal, come nearer, which means you had the chance to see her backside. But apparently favor misses from such range. 20 to go. It's still nil-nil here. All began very quickly onto the wing. Rashida up against Wilma. Rashida wins the foul. Looking to see what comes up from this free kick now. So, Lady Doves and uh, she corporates Fazila could be the one to go for this one. I just wonder why players always do that. What? Uh, like uh, try to put the ball at one point? Yeah. I think they actually prefer the the that point of entry for air to actually look up there. I think it makes it its movement better. So it is uh, Fazila on this, and she's not alone. Fazila will go for that. That goes off a corner, according to the referee. Well, I think to me, the Lady Dubs should know that in Karunji Vanessa, there is a good goalkeeper. So I don't think if she's those kind of antics can pay off today. By the fact that she's the captain of the team, they should know her well. But Fazira, 
and Vanessa are known friends. So, and friends, uh, they really love to come against one another in such competitive tournaments. So it is Fazil against Karunj again. Long from Fazila, bounces away. Fortunately, Nyandera Lydia also couldn't keep the ball on play. <laughs> well, uh, a lot of talk from the coach of the Lady Doves. I think he's not happy with what he's seeing. This is favor. Namiro goes down. Set it yet again there by Nantongo. Favor misses. This is not, uh, that is uh, Naposa. Wilma. Natongo. Natongo again. Easy cushion now to Gressa team. Thungu just couldn't receive that ball. Foul. It's a lot of complaint going on between Thungu and a team there. <laughs> when you deploy the midfield level, you just have to win a possession, and if you don't, you need to remind others of their responsibility. Lady Dubs have a free kick at the backfield. Favor. This is Namiro now, utilizing a pace. Thungu is open. Ooh, could be a chance for Thungu. And she gives the goalkeeper back the ball. Well, 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 well. Days had slept for a moment. And then Thung doesn't capitalize on that. Fazila. Fazila, ball bouncing right behind her. She fouls. But again, very good defensive work from Nabisalu Bridget, the coach of the She Corporates. Yeah, yeah, very angry because it's not going his way. He's also coached for the women team at Moobs and was at Sowana before. So experienced coach in Zinda who wants three points from Nabosa. Rashid. Okay. Water break now. It's been called for. Yeah. I was you wondering why the whistle had gone, but uh, that's a water break. Uh, take the uh, players some bit of time to cool off as uh, they actually get in for more action. Lydia Nerinda. Yeah, GG. Lydia Nyandera is Nyandera. a daughter to the owner of the team. Oh. Yes. So I think she has a lot to play for, uh, to impress the dad, and of course, <laughs> uh, to carry on the legacy for the team. But anyway, Favor had the best chance to score in this match. But unfortunately for Favor, nothing coming her way. But also the... That is Favor there. Number two. We we'll expect a lot from her if she can actually step up and uh, get something for the team. Slightly, you have to admit that uh, Fazila has been kept quiet. Totally, the game is still nil-nil at the water break here. Yeah. At the Kufa Technical Center in Jeru. We did mention, of course, her involvement at Olida, and uh, most of uh, the players now at Chico are uh, used to play alongside her, so they could know her strength earlier on from Thungu because Daisy actually amended her mistakes and tried to follow up the ball and save the and in the process of course pushing away her marker oh <laughs> a battle for possession and it was a free kick for she corporates well that moment after the water break should be named should call it maybe after water break <laughs> Post water break era. <laughs> Post water, water break. break. Anyway, there is uh, Nancha Rashid on the ground. It's just uh, a little bit of a problem with her knee, I think, that she's complaining about. This was the throw that was brought in a while ago. Oh, the kick is there. Yeah, the kick is there from Nakato. Well, as. Uh, Nancha Rashida seems to be getting better. Game shall continue to drive up. Low from Fatuma. 
Free kick here to the she corporates. Just reminding you, the corporates are in white. The doves in blue white. It's way by Navisalu. Flicked on perfectly. Another flick on now, looking to favor. That's good play from very good play there you have to admit from Namiro. No way good in. skills really. Yeah. She scored she corporate's goal during the last outing. It was a powerful free kick. One thing about this competition is that the medical team belongs to everybody so you don't come with your medical team like normally in the league just one medical team for all yeah long from Navisalu. collected well by thongu and it's out well she tried very much to get something there thongu yeah she corporate has asked a lot of questions they have puffed they have probed and apparently are getting shot of scoring only by not getting the right angle of course Daisy is not an easy keeper to get past but apparently they have earned the right it will say they have been the better offending team just look at thing go for the ball just look at the keeper fall the other way but the ball eluded her and it's off the pitch free kick again for she corporates Abisalu again Rushing ball by Namiro, but just goes away for a goal kick here to the Lady Doves. 34 minutes and counting. This game is still nil nil here. Daisy. Rashida. It's away by Birunji. And looking for Fazila. Well, that header from Namiribo wasn't the best. Fazila. Up against Natongo. Now Nabosa with a shot. Should be well possessed by Vanessa Karunji. Namiro. Away there from Birunji. From goalkeeper. Back to goalkeeper. She wants it sent very, very much in front here. You can see from here. This is a team. Away by Ma. Safety fast here for the Lady Doves. And uh, trust me, the ball has been in their half more times than... Yeah, because uh, Shukobrits have for the been goal. offending consistently. Yeah, very true. Is it a poor throw or free kick at the back side? Oh, we'll another throw. Madame Christine. Madame? Foul throw. <laughs> oh, Madame forgot how to throw the ball, unfortunately. This will be brought in by Wilma. Throws well, but not to anyone in white. Away by Nantongo. And, uh, give the advantage ball. if madame has the ball it's their ball oh well by the end of the tournament most of these footballers will be having a lot of scars on their body you have to admit well from the pitch it is pitch. part of what they play it's called occupation hazards <laughs> that comes along with playing at the level they are playing at madame goes long looking for fazila and again, she's there, Nakato. <laughs> she's becoming a pain. Yeah, Nakata and Navisalu are doubling on Fazira, not giving her chance. Could she see her try to nick in her leg? But again, they couldn't give her a free way to their goalkeeper, Vanessa Karunji. Goal kick for she corporates. Karunji will be the one to switch forward and forth. Nice play from Fiona Nabumba. Stolen away. 
And Lydia Riposet says already has one goal to her name here in this competition. Nakuya loses that ball. It's away by Wilma. And that goes away for another throw in here to the she corporate side. It's already the Lady Dove side. Neil, there it is. The fight is from a team. Thungu. Now Nabosa trying to squeeze it in, but uh, trust me, it's not been very easy for them. Madam Christine going for that. Destination should be either Nabosa or Fazira, who have proven to be key in their matches. Lady Dove's playing their last match and a draw could get them through to the next stage because that means that they will be up against UCU Lady Candles who may be looking to get other three points to uh, top the group, though a bit late. So it is important that Lady Dubs try to go for that point. Number two. Favor. Oh, there will be a free kick outside the box. That's actually a the penalty yuck. But the question remains, who will be the one to go for this? Because at this venue, mm. it could be a chance for goal, really. Uh, then they should get uh, Fever herself, because Fever wants it. Pasis also wants it. It is fighting for the ball on who takes the free kick. Number two, one of those most talented in the league was at Mtesa Royal University. Namidi Mumagi and Thung Janat, all at the... University in the Women Elite League, but again she was a star of that team. Number two favor. Who goes for this one? We are yet to see. From the look of things, it could be Fiona Nabumba. She's currently in the mood for this, but also standing right behind her. Others players, but looks like uh, Nabumba Fiona. She might be going for power. She does go for precision, hits the woodwork and comes back in play. Well, that's twice that the corporates have actually hit the woodwork. Well, they're edging closer. Just look at her. Of course, laugh it off. She just did the right thing, but only denied by a woodwork, meaning she just needed to calculate a few inches of what she did. And apparently, Lady Doves are just surviving. She does that again. For well, the first time she hit the woodwork, the second time she's way far from the woodwork. Nabumba Fiona. Still remembering that chance that she actually missed from the free kick. Well, she did well, totally did well. Foul. Madame fouled by a team. So zero, 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 0 here. As uh, the Lady Doves from Asindi will be the one to get on with this. Long. Way by Margaret. Flicked on well by Nabumba. A team steals. Now on the far side looking for Babidi. And Wilma doing extremely very, very well to shield the ball and wins a throw in here to the corporates. It is <laughs> Rockets been uh, for Lady Dubs, but uh, for she corporates, it's been what they anticipated other than probably scoring, which they need to do. Because for Lady Dubs, a draw is fancied. It could take them to the next stage. Vanessa sluggishly walks away but needs to send the ball to Lady Dubs as Fazira is preparing that ball for a free kick. Tight angle it is, but just next to the box. And Nabosa and Vilma stand beside. And this is not Nabosa. Vilma looks on as Fazira prepares to take the free kick. Well, three minutes of no more time remaining to play four here. Waiting to see what this will result into Fazila and Babirie all standing on this, but it's going to be Fazila. That's poor. The reverse is even worse. <laughs> She's had a bad first half, just like Asfana Suna did in the first match we aired between 
UCU and Israel Soccer Academy, Vanessa looking to go long. Fazil has switched from right to left. Confusion. Here they come. Fazila. She wants a penalty. Referee not awarding. Seems painful to Fazila. Fazila still down. Oh, they need to put the game down. We saw a serious injury there for Fazila. Her friend touches her, her opponent friend. They are very good friends, Vanessa and Fazida. Did a lot of work at Olida High School. Well, Fazida looks to be in a lot of pain. Of course, we need to have a second look at what exactly happened. Coach of uh, Lady Doves giving more instructions to Lydia here. And, uh, possibly Lydia can actually go down and put up more momentum in this. Far side, Nabosa does receive two. Hope it's not a serious injury or metatarsal injury there for Fazila Iquaput, but uh, by the look of the picture right now, I think she'll be able to run that off and continue the game. They need her on the pitch. They have already been a second uh, to she corporate, so you need to have your best player on the pitch. Having scored seven already today, it may be one of their toughest games, but apparently you need her to play full 90 minutes and the doctors will work around the clock to get her ready for the next one or two, three minutes in the first half. And of course, the referee is going for a drop ball, but this is what got Fazila down. Oh, 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 oh. Actually, Vilma did push, and there was contact in the box. Now, referee protecting the players better. Well, the referee adding uh, a minute in this. Here they come again, swept in by Lydia. Rashida can't control, it's away from Fiona Nabumba. Well, that goes away for an offside. I thought he had been blown for the end of the 45. But it's only one to play for. Not too well. All eyes on the referee right now. You can see the cameraman following her there. A team. Thungu. Thungu again. Try to look for that Tongo. Connected well by Nabumba. Shot through. Goes out. You could hear the coach requesting his players not to tackle others. Only go for the. Apparently, the resulting shot at goal was a bit weak. Goal kick with a few seconds left to be played for. And any time the referee could send the players to the dressing rooms. It's a long goal from Daisy. Natongo, currently on borrowed time from the ref. It's collected by a team dropping, punched over the bar. <laughs> well, that's the second time that a team has done that. But the goalkeeper, Nakazero Daisy, is spot on. Yeah, she powered that upwards, making sure it's not going behind the back of her net. And apparently, the corner may be the last incident in the game for today's first half. It's corner here for the she corporates. Our team will be the one to deliver. Corner brought in well. Straight up to the goalkeeper there, Nakazero Daisy. And that could be the final kick of the match, or rather throw. Well, there you go. That brings us to the end of the first 45 minutes over the action. The Doves up against the corporates. Well, trust me, this Dove has been 
so corporate enough that it's not in any one way flying anywhere for now. She corporates have been a barking dog that seldom bites. Apparently their good player has not been capped with any goal. Fazila there has been kept at bay, looks to be limping, but Naka Zero Daisy, a play of the first half, a very good saves at the moment, keeping Lady Dub still in the game. They will do their routine praying before heading to the dressing rooms. Well, there you are. For the moment, it is uh, very much locked on nil, nil for the Lady Doves. They did not have that kind of energy they had in the last game where they did put four past Isra. Currently, it is uh, the corporates giving the Doves a run for their money. For now, we go for the analysis, but back to studio, John Ban Sintemu. Brought to you by. Their job is to keep you and me healthy and well. But sometimes they try in vain. Was brought to you by. No one should stop you from finishing what's yours. That's why MTN gives you data bundles that don't expire. MTN Freedom Bundles using my MTN app and enjoy the freedom to finish your data bundles. MTN. The day the world stopped was the day we found where to go. From now on, we are not going to leave anything on our plates. Because we've learned to savor the moments that were always there. And they never tasted this good. Well, it's after time at the Fort Technical Center in Jeru, where Uganda... Sorry, the Lady Doves are playing Chic operates. I was meant to say, Uganda's best two teams, arguably one of Uganda's best two teams, playing in a game where each of them has got to win this. I told you, I promised you, I'm going to be joined by Mike Mubiru, Fifi Fiona Pink in Amiru, and of course the man himself, Joel Moita, who is down at the Fatekinko Center in Injeru. And I'll bring in Joel to tell me a tale of two goalkeepers. Nakazero, very busy, Daisy. But Vanessa, not very active in this game. Joel. Uh, clearly, like you say, the tale of two <laughs> goalkeepers, but uh, personally, I would say a tale of one goalkeeper who is Nakasero Daisy playing like a captain, leading her team, of course, uh, denying Shiko on several occasions, including the last one at the very end of the first half uh, from Noel Namiro. Uh, she was able to parry that ball away, but of course, uh, you would say Shiko a bit wasteful and a bit unlucky. Two balls hitting the upright, including one from Fiona Nabumba from the free kick, and the other from Atim Susan, right from the uh, left flank. Left flank. But you you can clearly see uh, she corporate have really dominated. I tried to create chances, but not taking them away. And this has been their biggest uh, challenge over the years. But equally, you would say they have been a bit unlucky, like I said, hitting the upright twice. But of course, they know the result today matters a lot. And of course, if you look on at, the, at their bench. Probably they have two players that they can bring on 
including Ron and Antege, and uh, win Nabale to, to try and move forward to make sure they at least score a goal. On the other hand, that Lady Doves, like you said, it's, it's all been about Daisy Nakazero, who is the only goalkeeper they traveled with, and they hope that he, she doesn't get any injury worries. Uh, but of course, they also have a challenge with the, their defenders, especially the center backs in Nabira and uh, Fatuma Nakasumba. They both kind of look like they're limping, but of course carrying on simply because they know on their bench they don't have any defenders in there. So clearly it's a, a game of very many tactics and probably she cooperate read the game very well. Sisana Antongo are dominating that midfield, not allowing Nabosa any chance to, put, to, to, to try and look out for Fazilo Kwaput. We all know the chemistry between uh, Fazilo Kwaput and Rita Nabosa, but that hasn't been really represented here in the opening 45 minutes. So clearly, you see, she she corporate trying to dominate, but at the end of the day, what matters most is whether you can score goals. And that's, that, uh, that has been there this, this service in the opening 45 minutes here at the FUFA Technical Center in Jeru. Thank you very much, Joel. We shall get back to you at uh, the end of the game, but I'm certain... Yeah. There will be a winner by then because the goal is there. I don't know which side will get the goal, but I see the goal coming. <laughs> Mike Mubiru, you've watched this game very, very closely. Um, uh, do you think we've got a hope for 80 goals in the second half? Yeah, definitely. Certainly. Um, chances have been coming in, especially from uh, Shea Corporates. I love the, the approach they've had. Uh, they know uh, the pressure is on them to deliver, and uh, they've not disappointed in the first 45 minutes there. Of course, uh, for Lady Doves, the only thing they have is maybe to hold on to uh, this draw, it can work for them quite clearly. But the most important thing here is uh, the most important statistic, like Joe said, is a goal in a game. Even if you play and you have 81 percent of the ball, just like Barcelona had <laughs> yesterday, you don't put the ball into the back of the net, then that counts for nothing. And uh, Chico Pris have done everything in their strides, but I think. Uh Um, the fact that they've not taken their chances is also winning um, their game. And I think the game plan has to change. Uh, in the second half, the coach will be telling them that uh, take your chances and make sure you calm down the nerves. I mean, it's, it's 45 minutes away and uh, any win for us uh, would push, put us back into the fray. So I think it has been a very wonderful first 45 minutes for both sides. But uh, overall, uh, the performance you pro probably seeing, I think that has favoured uh, sh uh, that is the Lady Doves much more than uh, the She Corporates. Um, yes. you're the only lady amongst us. Yeah. And it's only you can know the emotions running through these girls' minds now. Yeah. Talk us through the first half. Uh, emotionally, I think uh, between Vanessa and Fazira, you could see a long-term friendship, of course, separated by uh, playing teams. at both sides. <laughs> they had teams. You could see when Fazira was down, uh, Karunt could feel it, but of course you don't have to show because this is competitive when you show you on her side, mm -hmm. the coach might say you're selling them out. Uh, but we know uh, for about four players uh, with uh, she corporates uh, did play uh, with Fazida. They know her strength. They admire her pace. And this is what they have done. When you stop Fazida, you've stopped half of what Lady Doves can do. And when Sisi comes to the midfield and bosses it, uh, so that uh, Nabosa has no chance to get those through balls. To, because, uh, like you all talked about the chemistry, it is Nabosa and Fazida. Uh, between the too, they know that when I, I, I play the ball there, even if uh, Fazira is not that she'll reach. But again, uh, she corporates Nabi Salu, uh, Bridget uh, needs to be very worried of Fazira because uh, for Fazira, it's either she goes down or they go down. The, uh, about four times she got the ball, she heads uh, straight to goalkeeper and then uh, of course the few free kicks being called in by the referee. But apparently for me, there was a penalty appeal uh, for Lady Dubs. When Vilma came in, dashed and brought down a Fazira in the box. It happened so quickly, the referee just uh, brushed that off. But apparently, any other day, if we had VAR, uh, oh, that would, would mean <laughs> would uh, looking at the situation <laughs> again and deciding otherwise. But as it looks, she corporates have come better in this game. They have understood that against Lady Dubs, if you put out two or three players, then you have to put in pace. They are put in pace. But again, let's give credit to Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, flexing left and right, uh, rising to the occasion, reading the game so well, and not uh, even getting those balls that are going off the pitch, just to not give chance to her. Uh, uh, she corporates, uh, definitely for me, is my woman of the first half. And uh, I continue to remind you, Ghana, the football simply comes better on Uganda Broadcasting Corporation TV, because tomorrow we come to you with the Stanbic Uganda Cup round of 16, no better game, Express FC at the Wankulukuku Stadium against... Uganda Revenue Authority, the table toppers of the Uganda Premier League. It's going to be a massive game live here on UBC, 3.30 p.m. We shall kick off. But Mike Mubiru, mm. um, Fazila Ikoput, 
she has been pocketed a little. There was a chance, like Fifi says, for her to get a penalty because she played the ball then. She was, uh, she was tapped into what I thought would have been a, a penalty. Mm. But uh, the referee is the sole judge of fact. It's, for us, it's about opinion. The referee is the sole judge of fact, and we respect what she said. But second half, what uh, do you expect? Like, um, we expect a more, uh, I mean, the same from uh, Fazida Equaport. But the, f the thing is, I think she has been um, a bit limited, um, being closed down. Of course, you always don't play your best game when you always fold. Uh, I think that is going to take a bit of a psycho uh, psychological uh, thing out of our game. But uh, you have players who can actually uh, can, uh, turn around the, uh, the fixture. If you focus on so much on uh, uh, Fazira, I mean, uh, Fazira Equaport, then... Yep. The rest of the contingent is going to hurt you, and uh, they don't need. Uh, Shukopi does not really need to focus so much on uh, uh, Fazira, uh, but of course, taking her out of the game has played in their advantage, and I think it's the reason why they are even still scoreless. Uh, yeah, scoreless. Um, uh, yes. Um, uh, the first game we we we, we tell like a slave today. Yeah. Uh, came into life 79th minute when uh, Nasuna Asfa. Yeah. Group popped up and scored uh, that first goal in that game. Yeah. As how you see, you Lady Cardinals were beating up on Isra 3-0. It ended there. Mm. This game 0-0 at halftime. Are yeah. there chances for goals uh, in the second half? The first game was not a little uh, balanced uh, because we knew UCU were so powerful and Israel were, it was just a matter of time. I did mention that you told me if Israel score, I said UCU will score at two then. But apparently uh, uh, UCU came alive, like you said, 79th minute onwards to score three. Yeah, uh, they had a Hasfa to turn that around. In this game, you have a favor number here for Sheikh Operates, one of those most gifted, has seen it all through Motesa. Uh, she has that right height. If the goals uh, uh, fell through the legs, she will try other parts of the body, of course the head I'm talking about, because she uh, she's one of the tallest on the pitch today so they need to resort to that, try to give her, throw in the balls, uh, try to get Namiro to block bus because she has the strength to chew, to shoot the muscles to, the muscles to do that mm -hmm. and get it for them then uh, for uh, uh, Lady Doves, before the referee signals for 90 and the added minutes, don't rule out Fazida. Uh, yeah, like uh, my brother Michael said, she has been pocketed. Uh, they have gotten tactics to, uh, go, of course, uh, get out of the game mm. and has worked so far, 45 minutes. Uh, she doesn't need a lot. She just needs only that one chance because if, the, if they are given a penalty, still she can create one and still go for As it looks, she's also not moving uh, uh, freely. She's not running up and down, but gingerly. she realizes if the right flank is... Uh, be, she's being marked a lot, she switches, switches mm. and okay. she can play with both legs. So I believe we may not see uh, like the three goals we saw in the UC game, but we may see at least one that could actually change the proceedings of the group. Yeah, uh, Mike, as the teams walk onto the turf, uh, 20 seconds, uh, over dependence on Naka zero days in the first half, and yet they've got no goalkeeper. What do they have to do right in order for their goalkeeper to stop being their star player? Because if she gets injured, she's off, damned. And that, that is working on the defense. Um, they need to move a little bit quicker. When they lose the ball, they need to get back a little bit quicker. They don't need to have Shiko Press coming at them uh, all the time in the final third. And that is going to be very, very important. But like Fifi said, it's going to be very important. They, they, it's going to be very, very important for someone to score a goal in the first 15 minutes of the game, or probably uh, the last 15. That will change the dynamics of this uh, fixture. Yeah, um, as uh, Namiro Fifi walks off to join uh, Peter Tai for the commentary, we go down to the technical center in Jeru, where the second half is about to get underway. See you at the end of the game. Second half will be getting us up underway. And uh, just waiting to see how far we shall be driving on this match that is still locked on nil-nil between the Lady Doves and, of course, uh, the She Corporates here. Well, tomorrow we shall be coming to you live all the way from Wankulukuku, and uh, that is uh, the Uganda Cup match between Express and URA. I will be a battle of the Uganda Premier League men. As the ladies also will be playing in Jinja, but we shall be in Wankulukuku for that match. Sandvik Uganda Cup returns tomorrow in the last 16. And trust me, nobody would want to lose that first game. Well, it looks like the she corporate, sorry, the side of uh, Masindi will be making a double substitution. Uh, just waiting to confirm on that, but uh, I can see two players warming up. And let's confirm on this. Well, 16 is out, 23 is in, so Nancha Sara gets out. And also Liz will be coming in here to see if she can extend the chances for the goal. Uh, for it in the midfield they were bossed 
So they need someone to help out Nabosa and to help out Fazira up front if they are to get those goals coming in to Lady Dubs Football Club. Well, just confirming for the final substitution, not yet seen that, but uh, hopefully it will be picking up. Throw coming up here, begun very quickly by the Sheep corporate side as they continue to drive the pressure up. It's a long ball there by Lydia. Booted away perfectly by Liz and uh, looking for Fazila Ikwaput. Away by Nantongo. This is a team. Whoops. That's a miscue there from a team and uh, put away for a throw in there. A team not very happy with herself, really. You can see the disappointment on her face and the frustration. But looking to get the throw in here now. This is Tungu with Antongo. It's a big clearance away from the danger, but repossessed again here by trying to get the process away. It's a big trying to get the process away. It's a big clearance from the back zone. Head has come. Slowly by slowly. We another throw in here for the Lady Doves. Trying to switch that ball forward. And now controlling it perfectly at the Lady Doves as they pile the pressure up. I think uh, it's a different uh, output for Lady Doves. Uh, they try to uh, play and mud the midfield, which was stolen from them by She Corporates in the first half. Throw in quickly. Chance away controlled perfectly and it's a big clearance from Vanessa well you have to admit that uh, this game is still very much open-ended Nantongo yeah there are lots of minutes to be played for and that means that any chance could fall to a team a goal will change the dimension of the group. Bridget switching that ball deep down. Away there by Lydia. Swept away again by Margaret. Intercepted by Lydia. Up against Tungu. The goalkeeper actually, rather the referee, was in the area. I'll be uh, restart slightly. away. Flick on by Nabosa. At least trying to go for that. Thungu. Nabumba. Some good cross it was but unfortunately cleared away from the mix and repossessed again by Nabisalu. Nabumba. Wilma Nantumwe tries to go for the long shot but uh, not on target whatsoever. And that just easily glides away. There's 49 minutes of this match played already. It is a still much open game here. Well, Nabosa. Fouled upon by Sisen and Tongo. looking to get this ball up front that is Madame Christine those are her real names a team Thungu poor control and swept away by Nabosa you can see Fazila Ikwaput coming up very quickly but to the safety arms there <laughs> the referee wants sorry the goalkeeper wants a foul not very happy with the Fazila there uh, she's not very happy that is Vanessa Chirunji Karunji rather 
still having a talk with uh, Fazila. Well, this is uh, what resulted into the foul a while ago. It was a very big clearance from Nabosa. Then uh, I think that was the push there. Away by Karunji. Madame looking for the ball. So then away by Atim. Madame does well. Thank you. Wilma. Long from Wilma. To the good arms of the goalkeeper. Naka zero. Now more pressure forward. Looking for a Kwaput Fazila. And don't go. Faith gets that ball away to that Boomba, who does very well. Boomba will be dropping that ball to the far side. See Senatongo now. Looking for a right angle to cross this ball through Sise. Gets one on Thungu. Oh, totally gotten away from the mix. Fazila. This is Fazila. It's a chance for Farida to open up. It's Fazila. Drops it into the left hand side and fortunately they still hold on to the ball can they cross it's a good save from the keeper super save there and they get a corner vanessa karunji gets an eco share of what bridget did experience in the first half and of course liz now brightening the front side for lady dubs look just at fazila for skills she'll beat anyone with that pace very comfortable with both legs. Well, that was Liz. The first was poor. Then the second was on target. Good left shot. Corner. Brought in by Liz herself. And Nabosa meeting that ball well, but goes over the bar. That's going to be a goal kick there. Still open, still moving up here. Anyone can take this game as long as you play your cards right. The first half belonged to She Corporate. Second half looking to go Lady Dove's way. Well, here they come again. Lady Dove's venturing forward. Oh, I don't think if the referee will give that uh, free kick the other way. It's actually a free kick here for the corporates. <laughs> uh, Nancha Rashida. Not very happy with the call, but trust me, Nakato Amina, well, has a very good engine inside her. Nakato. Still very much came here. All oh, the Lady Doves now going defensive. This is uh, a chance away. Nabumba swept away by Madam and gotten away from the danger zone right now. Well, it's still very much open, really. Totally, totally open. This is still very much alive. Margaret. Elise fighting for the ball. Now swept away perfectly by Margaret. Madam. And Wilma was the last person to tap that ball, so that will be a throw in. Yeah, a throw in for Lady Dubs who have slightly improved from a uh, first half display uh, which is a bit okay lady actually madame not lady they all look for fazida she tries to space herself but this time marked out but vilma and nabisaru at the back side aziz just came in she started the other game but was not able to start this one today. Yeah, she be, she came in as a replacement of Nakuya, Sarah. Yeah, because the coach went for a tactical adjustment there, which is something that probably helped them in the first half. Free kick here for the Lady Doves. It will be brought in quickly by Fatuma. Long from Fatuma 
Away by Nantongo. Here they come again to one and one. They need to switch that ball very quickly. Read perfectly there by Nachitu. Nakato. Nabosa. No foul. According to the referee, it's a dropping ball forward to nobody in particular. Well, they're running out of ideas right now, the, the corporates here. And Naka Zero Daisy will be very happy by the stand of things so far, keeping a clean sheet today. Naka Zero. Long ball. Nabosa. Thungu. It's a reverse pass from Nabosa. Read very well there by Nabisalu. Another throw in. Activity very much alive. Game still very much to the mix line here. Throw in by Birunji. Push there from Nakato. Gives it away to Nabosa. Nabosa. Birunji. Fazila is offside. Well, she seems to be coming to life in the second half. Uh, first half was actually a difficult one for her. Well managed there by Amina Nakato. Away by Nabisalu. Fatuma. Elise. Fazila. Foul. She even actually caught the ball before the whistle had been blown. She actually knew that was going to be a free kick. Well, weather changing right now in uh, Njeru. You can see how the cloud is actually covering the sun. Making it slightly darker. Possibly it will be able to rain a little later down in Jinja. See the movement of the sun on the pitch right now totally covered the entire pitch. Shot disappointing. Fazil again. Well, this has not been a day, really. It's not been a day in office, but uh, you just cannot write her out of this because there's still a lot of time to play for here. Throw in to the lady corporates. Still nil nil in Injeru. We had uh, three goals scored in the final 10 minutes of the match between Isra when they played against uh, UCU. That was uh, the early kickoff at about 9 a.m. in the morning. Hasfa Nasuna scoring twice in that match. Uh, that is a very big. Goal kick uh, from uh, the young Daisy. I think uh, she's very good when it comes to ball distribution. She cooperates trying to maneuver, but apparently Lady Dove's defending amicably at the center line. Nabosa, ball is away. Very good play there from uh, Namiro Nolin. Birunji. Big kick inside the zone and headed away for safety by Margaret Namiribu. Be a throw here to the. Well, the Doves will be getting themselves that throw. But uh, I assume uh, Coach Zinda will go for substitution and Thongu uh, looks likely to go off uh, with options in Winnie. Uh, that is Winnie's Nabal and Nantege. Vanessa Chirunji. It's more pressing here, collected there by Birunji. That's a big ball into the wing side. Nabosa's chasing. And again, defended well by Margaret and swept away by Bridget. Well, they try to repossess the ball, but they can't. Here come the Doves. So, in a way, by the corporates. Favor. I don't think if that will disturb any goalkeeper. Just goes away for a goal kick. A little bit wide. And she corporates probably need to regroup, try to man the midfield like they did in the first half. Then send the number tier to a center forward position because apparently she's going wide 
and sometimes dropping off to come and get the balls at the midfield level. Vilma, a little bit disappointed there. Another substitution. Another substitution for she corporates. Rona comes on. I did mention that earlier that they need Rona on the pitch today. Rona. The robot in quickly by Madame. Trying to drive that ball through. Swept away perfectly again. Nantege. Rona coming in for Thungu. It's a confirmation of that. Thungu has come out. She had become a liability for she corporates. And uh, Nabale in for a team. Nabali, it was also imminent. She comes on, and apparently, her importance will be felt in the next 29. Far too much to swing in the free kick. Long ball brought through by Fatuma. Antongo, Cisse, dragging that ball forward. That goes away for a throw in. Just 29 minutes of this remaining to play for here. Madame Christine will be sent slightly behind to throw this forward. Madam. Do oh, they win the throw this time? The referee wants it the other way. Some bit of confusion there. There will be a shift uh, in positioning uh, with Nabali coming on. That means she'll have to drop back a bit and then Fiona push up front. Fat, uh, that is uh, brother. That was Nabusa putting that ball out for a throw here. Very unlucky that uh, it went away. Throw by Wilma Tenge. Small kick. The referee doesn't see that. Shot coming through from Fazila. Wanting to get the goalkeeper Karuji Vanessa from distance. And that does not pay whatsoever. 28 minutes. Fazila slightly disappointed today. Yeah, if she doesn't go out today, it will be the first time she misses that. And this is the last game at the group stages. But of course, if the results remain like this, it will be enough to take them to the next stage. Scooping ball by Birunji. Wilma. It was Nantege a while ago, Nantongo. So basically, the Nantege and Nantongo in here. Favor. This is good running. Could they get something inside there? It's a foul. Ooh, the other way around. Just when I thought that Fiona Napumba was fouled out of the box, instead she was the one that fouled. <laughs> so it goes the other way around. Again, Lady Doves will have the advantage. Madame Christine, of course, checking her arms if she has bruises. Well, Christine down. Fiona Nabumba is up. Still waiting and waiting. See how far we shall go with this, really. Referee looks on. Oh, here we go. What was the free kick? Oh. Surely. For me. How was that the other way? Yeah, because Fiona had the ball. And Madame Christine came to challenge to get the ball. She didn't go for it. She got the legs. But the referee, like they say. <laughs> oh, maybe the free kick was for the first incident, not that one. Uh, that then uh, probably makes a lot of sense. But if so, that one. Then for me, surely she got it wrong. But like we say, these nine minutes belong to her and she decides whichever way she thinks the statutes of the game adhere to. No, oh, this is good here. Oh, very, very good here for the Lady Doves. Can they strike? Good save from the keeper. Iquaput, can she respond again? No, she can't. 
very, very good stand, you have to admit, there for Navale. She's so big in the box there, but again, the gliding header doesn't yield anything positive for the doves. But good from Fazila. She looks for that space to shoot. Doesn't get it because Vioma closes in on, on time. Closes in on time. And apparently, she corporates herself, but they need to do better. Do we have a substitution? No. But just it look at like this. Nature. Yeah, there was a chance. Very good save from Karunji. Shall be confirming on the sub a little bit later. Looked like a sub was a call for. And there we go. Nagadia is in for Nancha. Oh. Nagadia will definitely go up front to make a front three between her and Fazida, the other one. What's supposed to be Babidi? Eh. And Babidi Olivia to make the three strikers. Nagadia comes in with uh, a limited pace, but good game reading. I think that's what she possesses to help out in the crosses so that Fazira can concentrate on the central role in front of goal. Vilma with the ball. Yeah, that's a lot of pain now. We are currently having those. The players have played a lot of football. The yes. tackles are becoming more and more heavier. And simple massages from teammates probably could help. Just look at Fazira. She's hot. Now taking in ice water. I think they're pouring in their heads. Yeah, try to cool off. Really try to cool off the game. 24 minutes remaining to play. That is Karunji. Vanessa Karunji. With a beautiful save a while ago. She's the reason as to why this game is still nil nil. And following the game perfectly well, Elise came in a while ago. Well, this is the foul. It was a long ball inside. Well, looks like the ball hit up very, very awkwardly. Just direct to the face. Ooh. Nabosa. It's more pressing here. That is they keep the ball in its favor with possession. That's a corner. Corner coming up here for the corporates. Nabumba shall be the one to deliver this. Nabumba, very, very big one. That's a good corner from Nabumba. Nantumbwe, oh, this could move flavor. Why did she do that? I just don't know. Bridget. Straight up to Nakazero. <laughs> fighting on, and fighting on. Togo fighting for possession. Bridget loses out. It's a long clearance from Margaret. Madame Christine in trouble here. So by the referee's whistle because uh, Nantenge Rona was actually very close to her there. Freaking here for the Lady Dubs. Sumba Fatuma is back after receiving the punch from the ball on her face. Nabosa. It's away by Nakato. It's giving away on the far side. Oh, they're taking their time right now. They're probing and probing into the D, but swept away by Margaret. Fazira was running on the second line. Apparently, not positioning herself central. I think she's uh, ready to get the second balls coming in, but the throw in is uh, theirs. Could have taken a knock to the leg there. The play of uh, Lady Doves. Surely this will be a throw again to the Dubs themselves. 
still very much open ended. Nabosa. Away by Nakato. Throw for Nakato. Switching it very, very much long. This is good for the corporates. It's dropping away to favor. Madame is through. Can they connect on this one? But again, Paul still on play. This is good. Here comes favor. Oh dear. Yeah. Well, surely, as a striker, Number she's yeah. been disappointing. Yeah, she's been disappointing. But again, it goes to uh, one of the defenders who just ran in front of her, Tom Strike. Just 20 minutes remaining to play. We've seen a lot of misses from Flavor, or Favor rather. Fazila. Change of wing here. Goalkeeper comes out. Vanessa. Nabosa. Again, good standing coming in from uh, the big lady herself. Well, I've Making just sure been nothing goes on. I told that uh, the body of our fallen brother and hero, Robert Kagolo, has been brought to the UBC Gardens. Uh, so those that are nearby and would like to have a chance or to even have the last to say goodbyes to the deceased, your time is now. And rest in peace, Robert Kagolo. But of course, that earlier misread from the goalkeeper but again number tier just wasting it up in the air Vanessa Karunji all rolls away for throw in what the referee telling Nakato Amina to go slightly behind ball there from Elise but uh, nothing picking up should be another throw in for them Nakato just only 18 minutes we shall be able to share the table standings with you a little bit later Function for the semi-finals but know that only the top two from each group qualify for those semi-finals. Uganda matters on the other side. Uganda matters high school, Rubaga and Kawimpi Muslims. Yeah. Here. Waiting for the two from this group here. Uh, the two, you see you today edging closer. They get three points from their last game tomorrow. That means nine games and they could end up uh, leading the group, surprisingly. And then a draw from here could also earn Lady Dubs marching on powers to the next stage, but she cooperates. They still have uh, to make sure they don't by winning this one. Please. Drop that ball through. Goalkeeper Vanessa to the rescue. I don't know where the whistle had gone because slowly Nagadia was coming up. Tungo. Having a problem of clearance with Nabari. Still a Tongo, but uh, it's a foul that has been called for miscommunication between Nantongo and Nabari. So free kick began very quickly, and Vanessa to the rescue. Long from Vanessa. Favor on the chest. This is a pressure, but the ball actually put away for a corner kick now to the corporate here. Well, Nambatia has a chance to meet the ball that will be coming in from the corner, but she has to be clinical this time. If that has to enter, Noel in Namiro to bring in this. Corner be brought in by Namiro. That's a good corner. Punched away by the keeper. Natongo fights. She loses that battle. Now she needs to go back to the midfield. The quad put. It's away by. 
Ila there, but uh, the target was having a problem with the microphone. Yeah, target was Joe area. Water breaks it. There we are. So we shall be going in for that water break again. And uh, currently, it's becoming very difficult for Navida to get a goal here. You can see her moving a word with her coach. Maybe on what to do. Maybe how to actually get the ball in. Instructions are coming up. Lots of instructions coming up here. Uh, but when you look at the coach's fingers, he's probably requesting her to uh, be centrally positioned. Vanessa is the only one without uh, water as she tells her teammates something that should be very important and vital in the last minutes. Coach Zinda not happy with some of the players on the pitch wonders why they are not opening up very quickly. Vilma, Namiro, some of those taking the instructions in, just look at Fazida go. And for skills, I know she has wowed most of you. Well, there was a chance that was missed a while ago, really. It was a good save from the keeper. There's some of the, the chances, and of course you, the lady doubts. Please. Looks like the girls are back on the pitch uh, to resume play. Well, should have allowed that to go for fair play, really. Because it was the whites already with them. Will be going long. Long from Wilma. Brushed away. Oh, this could be a chance for the half volley if they can't reach. Still inside the D, nothing through. The corporates are fighting. Nabali tries to shoot in. Nothing coming through. This is Nantongo. Drops it disappointingly forward. And that will be a goal kick now. Target player for corporates should be Nambatia. But she has disappointed so many times. And apparently the other players are taking it upon themselves to drive the ball in the box or shoot without even entering the box which is a slight disadvantage because then the good goalkeeper Daisy has chance to grasp all those shots that come in from a long distance which is partly her strength being custodian for some good time. Daisy, Natungo. Nanteke. Wilma trying to open up on Nanteke. Oh, here we come. It's Wilma to the byline. Cross as well. Fortunately, Favor slow on that ball. Yeah, Favor is slow, but good game reading from Daisy. But I wonder, Favor, whether he's slow, at least try to uh, throw in a leg to meet the ball. She does nothing. Although we're making a substitution very soon. She cooperates. Yeah, they will. Margaret. Fazira goes to take that a bit far. But remember, she scored one against Israel Sports Academy. She's that have managed to uh, slot in free kicks. So out goes Natongo Sise. And in comes Akuku, Akuku. Yeah, who has just dropped to the bench. Akuku also being former player of Olida and a former teammate to the free kick taker Fazila Ikwaput. Just 11 minutes to play. Akuku had a very, very good game in the last she played. But let's wait and see if she can put that also in here. This is the free kick. Liz goes for this. No disturbance for the goalkeeper. There is a handball. Yeah, the hand was there. It was out of its natural position. There. The right call at the moment. Well, another free kick almost same distance. Freaking. And Nabali wants to take this. Amuchelo, 
Bridget will be the one to go for the free kick. This is Bridget. Goes for the long one. That's disappointing, really. Disappointing from Nabisalu. Nabali decided to leave it for her and go up front, probably for a chance to meet the ball if it came her way. But apparently, there are days also going long. I think the 10 minutes will see so many high balls as both teams uh, try to play away the ball from their areas. Referee chases Nabali away. And Akuku just looks on as Nabosa gets the drop ball. Fazila chasing, tries to drop the goalkeeper through. Well, the idea was not bad. She saw the goalkeeper come out. This is Nabosa. Fazila. Driving through, flag is up on uh, Aladiza Nagadia. She's offside. <laughs> when you look at her, you may think she's not fit, but apparently chases at a high speed. Veuma. You throw in again to the corporate. Veuma drops that ball through to the arms of the goalkeeper. Daisy, and the attack is imminent now. Long from Nabosa. Zila couldn't receive. She has eight minutes to square goal or no. When uh, Fazila switched to the right, Nabosa, who operates at the midfield, also switched to the right midfield. And apparently, it's chemistry for the two. The sinking, the understanding of one another's run. Unfortunately, this time, Fazila could not get the ball on time. Kato now, this will be a throw into the she corporate, throws to the Lady Doves from Asindi. And uh, Kwaput will be leaving that to be brought in by Birunji. It's a low one from Birunji. Crawled by Kwaput, stolen away by Nakato. Has actually been uh, the nemesis of uh, Fazila Ikwaput today. Fazila crosses it in. It says from Karunji Vanessa. It's a bouncing ball here. Nobody in particular. Elise loses that ball to Vilma. The game actually becoming physical towards the end. Stolen off the legs of Nantege. Remains on the ground. Madame. Elise. Lydia. Oh, what kind of pass was that? Nabosa. <laughs> this thing some again. of her skills to Fazil again. These two. I enjoy to watch. That's a good cross in the D. Well, I need to watch that pass again. I really need to watch that move there. It was a sweet pass. <laughs> Akuku. Trying the ball deep longer. They're looking for Nabumba Fiona. It was actually not Mabumba. It was Namiro. No any. And good defending. Coming in from Lady Doves. Just paving a way for the ball to go off and not giving chance to Nabumba, to Noel in actually to get the ball. Oh, Fazila <laughs> fails on that. Yeah, fails to do that. Sorry for her. Repossessed again by a Kuku. Oh, Dodgers one tackle Kuku. And now she fouls. Give the ball on player Kuko and decided to go down and foul. Five to go. Is that the pass you want? Oh, look at that again! Just <laughs> look at that foot pass. It is a flick, and it's from Nabosa to Fazila. Who would it be if it wasn't the two? There is a player down. 
shook up themselves a free kick at the backside. The time is not on their side. If they fail to get this, she corporates may be marching out of the competition. Well, Fazila receiving a yellow card. I think it's one for the team. She's not bothered at all. Yellow card for Fazila. And Bridget Nabisalu will be the one to go longer here. It's long from Bridget. Put down. Long from Elise looking for Equaput Fazila. Fazila tries to beat a marker. She does well, Fazila. Going on for the second with that speed. Just could not go through the third. Yeah, I think uh, she cooperates also. Let's first look at this and see where the dub sticks it. Or oh, when she cooperates, get the ball back. Uh, for the coach to take out. Uh, uh, because Sisi has been good with the ball. But again, uh, Kuku, he is very defensive. And Nambatia have uh, tried to switch positions a lot. As it looks for me, she cooperates are lacking at the midfield level. Ever since was Nantongo taken off, I'm not seeing her anywhere at all. Well, the player's getting a little bit confused whether the ball had gone out or no, yet the ball was in. Yeah, Nantongo was actually good in out for yeah. Kuku. She was very good at ball handling and more offense than a Kuku who came on for her. That is why we see now Lady Dubs trying to, of course, suppress them at the midfield level. As we have a throw in this time to Vilma, and that means to she operates. Coach becomes ball boy and ball girl. It's actually a free kick. We brought in quickly by Vilma. She was the one that was brought down by Yandera Lydia. Ball through. Oh, collected well now. Can they strike there? No, they can't. Nabale. Only she could actually get that ball in. Good hands from Daisy. She will go long as she doesn't need any ball. Lydia. Stolen away by Nakato. We're just about uh, two minutes of no more time to play for here. Just two. Akuku. Throw into Lady Doves, but it looks like there's nobody to give them the ball a while ago. Away from Birunji. Bridget. Chess is on here. Favor down. Nantege. Nantege again. Try to. Go to the byline here, get that angle right with the delivery. It's out. The chances are slimming down as Coach Zinda is feeling the pressure of failing to score. Because if they remain at three points from three games, actually earning one from this, that means that even if they win tomorrow, they will just have to pray for UCU to lose. Oh, that's a free kick. It was a very good run there from Nagadia. Which is and unlikely. Brought down by Margaret Namirimu. Fazira, just look at her holding the ball like as if she's in love with it. Well, whatever she does with it shows you. That apparently she has lots of things to do with it. Are we going for a substitution or they're just... Forming a wall to defend the free kick. Fazida, it looks a bit far. Free kick for Fazila. She'll be calling this straight. Been very disappointing today, Fazila. So, shortly, we are clocking the 90 minute mark here. And waiting for how many minutes the referee shall be adding two. So, basically, just two minutes for both sides to so at least get something in here. Also the free kick from Fazila. I think good hands from Karunji. 
though she also just uh, put it there but was lucky it was only her teammates following up otherwise had any lady doves football player fold up that free kick then uh, problems would have been caused uh, for she corporates madam no foul according to the referee fazila beats one but can't beat two that's good movement here from the corporates they want to end this on a high Nantege, long ball deep. Another chance here, it's driving through. Nabumba! Nabisaru, lucky to get this one. It was a bit threatening, but looks like Lady Dubs are marching on to the semi finals with a point from this. Wilma goes for safety, puts that ball out for a throw in. Well, she has been a hard worker today, Wilma. Not only today, but most of the games she has played in this competition. It will be Madame to throw this ball forward with a few seconds, 20 to be precise to go. Bouncing ball. Wilma. Madame Christine, happy not to follow that up. Oh, the earlier incident where she corporate threatened Nabumba and Daisy closing down and getting this. Now we are approaching the final kicks of the match here. Yeah? All eyes on the referee. And that rolls away for a throw. So I think the referee will now be taking her time to blow her whistle. This will be the first game we've had live on TV which has ended goalless live on TV. Throw away. Fasila. Long range shot. Karuji doing very, very well. Answer the question first. But it's minimum of two. So we can play three. Favor. The Dubs continue to brush on. It's way here. Stood in up front by Navari. Way by Nakato. And now this is a free kick. Possibly it will be the last kick of the match, really. She has a look at her watch. And I'm sure she'll be allowing this free kick to be taken. Then maybe the whistle will be blown. Namiro scored from such a distance. In the game, they earned three points that they have in the tournament so far. And now, is she done for it or Nabali? Who goes for that? Among us, the three. Nowhere in Nabisaru. Nabali is also there. I don't know where Fazila is sending them to. They are pushing her aside, but Namiro. Oh, Namiro against. Daisy Naka Zero. Here comes the free kick. It's a long through one. Straight to the goalkeeper, Naka Zero. We are just waiting for the referee now to blow. She will any second from now. Well, there you go. The referee does blow the whistle, and this match has ended 0 0. And trust me, the corporates just failing to get the better of the Dove and the Dove to making sure that they remain where they are. The corporates, of course, praying that UCU doesn't win tomorrow, but Lady Dove's marching on to the semi finals. Fazida complaining to the referee, but thanking her for good work done as it ends. A full time is 0 0, and the Lady Dove's are marching on. Well, basically, that is how the game has purely ended up in this one. Beautiful football we have had, but unfortunately, disappointing. No goals in this match, just like the way we had in the first match that yielded three goals in the final 10 minutes of the other game where the UCU Cardinals actually went on and got the beta of Israel in a game that ended 3-0 from the first match. But this at full time, Lady Dubs nil, the corporates nil. Let's go down to the studio, John Burns.
In Injero, in a game of FUFA Women's Super League, Lady Doves zero, she corporate zero. But the Lady Doves are through to the next round of football, and that is the semi final because no team in this group can upstage them from that top position that they hold. Let me go for a break and I'll task Namir, Mubiru, and Joel to tell us the ramifications of this group. <laughs> The day the world stopped was the day we found where to go. From now on, we are not going to leave anything on our plates. Because we've learned to savor the moments that were always there. And they never tasted this good. Well, I'm joined by Fifi, Fiona Pinky Namiru, and Mike Moviru to tell you what has exactly transpired down at the Fatekin Kosera in Nigeria in this game of football that has ended scoreless between the Lady Doves and the Sheik Operates. Fifi, I'll start with you. Yeah, I think uh, Lady Doves have cemented a position at the semi finals, joining Uganda Matters High School Lubaga and uh, joining Kawempe Muslims. They will ask me why. Uh, because uh, they are top of the group now with eight points. Uh, of course, you uh, see you uh, are second with uh, six points. You come to Olida who have four points to their name, and then you'll have to uh, come to uh, she corporates, who have three, and uh, probably that is enough to keep them uh, up, and Isra, who have no, uh, uh, Isra Academy, who have no uh, point at all, uh, may be relegated uh, to uh, the FUFA Women Elite League. Uh, looking at uh, Lady Doves, I think they did a lot in this game, realizing that they were overpowered uh, throughout uh, both halves and uh, of course Fazid uh, started rising her game that is in the second half uh, between her and Nabos, uh, but apart from uh, skills uh, display apparently they failed uh, to get the ball past Vanessa Karunj who has been better today and then uh, their keeper Daisy winning it for them because for me she could be a play of the match uh, for the saves and what she's done tremendously but as it looks I think at the table because even if she cooperates win their next game they'll go to seven points on a or either win their last game, still they will go to seven points. And that means that it's only Kawempe Muslims who can outseat uh, 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 out Lady Doves. But again, if they do, they go to nine points and probably to, uh, top the table. Which kind of Muslims Ah, sorry, uh, you see, you, you know, see you. Mm. Uh, Jesus Christ, oh, you see, you, you see, see you, uh, you mm. see you, yeah. Oh, you know, when I when I talk about you see and Kawempe, because they have won the trophy and you see have <laughs> been uh, uh, a very good outfit in the past, that's why sometimes I confuse them, but it's you see you, pardon me, wherever I mentioned Kawempe in this group, I put you see you, it is you see you, you see you, <laughs> who have to play their game tomorrow and has for uh, probably wanting to score a few goals because today she made three goals in the group, a uh, big. Okay, um, uh, Joel Moita is coming to us live from the Fuwa Technical Center in Njeru. And uh, Joel, take it on and interview those guys and let them tell us what they feel about performances on the day, despite a draw in that game. Yeah, 90 minutes, no goal scored. The first game that we've witnessed ending without a goal scored. But of course, Lady Doves will be very happy that the point they got today 
and them a slot into the semi-finals of this year's FUFA Women's Super League uh, playoffs. So of course, uh, taking them to eight points, meaning the other teams, including Lady, Lady or rather Olira High School, uh, Uganda Christian University, and she corporate can't get to eight points. The maximum they can get is seven. But I'm joined by one of the players, the captain, who really did well to make sure that the, the, the team earns a point today. Uh, Daisy Nakazero, a brilliant performance from your team today. And of course, uh, you as an individual also put up a brilliant performance. But uh, of course, seeking that uh, slot into the semi-finals, how do you feel as a team and the, the captain? As a captain, I feel very happy. I'm so very happy that we made, we made it to semi-finals. And I want to thank my players. Everyone was determined. And I thank the coaches. We worked hand in hand to make sure that we win today's game. And uh, you already qualified into the semi-finals. What would be the target of Lady Doves, knowing that uh, in 2019, but you didn't win the championship? What would be the target this time round? This time round, I, I pray to God we shall make it to finals. Yeah, and does that mean you're fighting for the title? Yes, we are fighting for the title of 2020, 2021. Okay, thank you. Uh, Daisy Nakazero, the captain of uh, Lady Doves, uh, who really stood out today, making sure that the team earns that desired point they got today. I'll be joined by the coach, uh, Rajab, uh, to make, to first of all, give us an assessment of the game, how it went, how easy or how hard it was for them to get a point today, and of course, making sure that they qualify into the semi-finals of this year's FUFA Women's Super League. Uh, Coach Ojab, uh, first of all, congratulations that your team has managed to uh, take one of the slots into the semi-finals. First of all, how do you feel and how important was the result today in terms of uh, the players giving it all and making sure the team uh, sails through? Uh, first and foremost, I do thank God uh, for having helped us to make it to the semi-final. It's not ours, it's always God that does write it. Uh, we know there are many issues you go through, there are many things we have to go through, but we do thank God uh, that we have managed to go to the semi-final. Now the, our target is to fight hard so that we reach the finals. And I know with the, the help of God, we shall reach it there. And uh, what sort of dimension or what things do you need to improve as you go into the semi-finals, knowing that you're going to face other teams from the other group? I am uh, good enough. We've ever played with them. We know their strength, we, don't, we know their weaknesses. They know us, we know them. We know we shall do the, our best to win the games. Okay, thank you, Coach Rajab, saying they will do their best to win the games. A quick reminder that Led Doves reached the finals uh, in 2019, but uh, of course losing uh, to uh, UC Lady Cardinals. Eventually, Lady Cardinals making that title in 2019. But of course, if you look at the game that happened here today, uh, she copied, got almost every chance they had on the day. A bit wasteful and a bit unlucky, like I said in the first half, got two chances that hit the upright. But eventually this game in ending into a goalless draw and of course they have quite a job on their hands tomorrow. Knowing that uh, we are into the calculations now, the, the permutations as they stand, uh, like I said, Lady Doves through, she corporate six points in second place, Lady Doves, or rather she corporate and uh, Olira, they are all tied on four points and uh, tomorrow's games will determine a lot on who takes the, the other slot because you see you they still stand a chance of leading this group if they can win against Olira, they will go to nine points she corporate have th four points but they have to win against uh, israel soccer academy with a bigger margin because red doves won 5-0 against israel Olira and uh, you see you have won each against lady doves with three goals so that means uh, she corporate need to score as many goals as they can against uh, Israel Soccer Academy tomorrow. So those are the permutations for now. She corporate have to win tomorrow. UCU and Olira, either of the, those sides will have to win to make sure they qualify or join. Let those who have qualified today. And uh, as the semi-final slots stand, Kawembe Muslim who topped Group One, Uganda Matters who finished second. Now Let those have joined them, and we have one slot to fight for as the FUFA Women Super League comes to a conclusion next week. Back to you, John Burns, St. Thank you, Joel. And uh, hopefully now that uh, these two games tomorrow will be played simultaneously because they have serious permutations on who finishes second in this group to face Kawempe that finished first in the other group and that's simply done and dusted. Lady Dubs will play Uganda Matters, isn't it?
Wow. I think we've lost Joel. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me engage uh, uh, my guys in the studio. Fifi, you're a guy. Guys are uh, slang, just a slang. Uh, but bands yeah, are more guys. I'm not complaining. Whatever you call that's, me, I'm used to that. That's great. Eh? That's anything, great. Anything, okay. my boy. Uh, Fifi, uh, it's uh, <laughs> uh, the GDAVs is through. We know the other group. Um, yeah. uh, Kawempe Muslim Girls yeah. and Uganda Matters High School. They are yeah. already through. Yeah. First confirm to Ugandans, who does Lady Doves play? Uh, because they are through as number one. Lady Doves, uh, oh, no, 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 they are not yet. They are not yet sure no, no, if they are no, number no, one or no, number no. two. Let me not become a Masebi yeah. of sorts. They are not yet through yeah, as number one or number two. But they are through if, to the next round. Yeah, they are through. Uh, that is with eight points. So that means that if it's either Olida or so Olida can't find them. Olida. It's only, it's only. It's only you see you cardinals on six points, isn't I, it? Uh, no, Olida has four points. Yeah, has they can't points. find yeah. them. Uh, but if Olida beats you see, they, yeah, they, they can't find them. No, Olida can't. No, no, but it can't. Fifi, Fifi, look. listen, 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 Fifi. Yeah. Listen, Fifi. Mm. Lady, Lady Doves have eight points. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Olida have four points. Yeah. They when they win three, they go to seven. They yeah. can't find them. Yeah. That's what I'm telling you that they can't find them. Uh, that means that because you're asking, uh, does who does uh, you see? No, it's, it's, it's not yet. It's, it's, it's not yet clear. It's, it's not clear. clear that, it's yeah. not yet clear. That's mm. what I say. They, Olida definitely because we already say Lady Doves are through. So yeah. we are looking for the second team to go out of this uh, group. Yeah. Olida still has a chance. She corporate still have. Though you see you have the biggest chance because winning today uh, has for as soon as two goals, of course, uh, made them go to six points. That means that they may not only win against Olida tomorrow, but they can still even top the group yeah. at nine mm -hmm. points. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. we are not yet told the permutation is if the one who wins in team A goes to the no, second it's, in group it's, it's B. Clear. It's yeah. clear. Let me if, um, uh, keep talking. Go, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Keep yeah. talking. Keep talking. Keep <laughs> okay, talking. Okay. As I keep, keep talking, talking. Bans is looking out for the uh, yeah. simple other small ties. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. permutations are clear because we know Kawempe is number one, Uganda Matters High is number two. So that means if you see you are number one, then they'll have to play Uganda Matters. But if you see you are not number one and uh, uh, Lady Dubs keep their position, that means Lady Dubs could go on and play uh, Uganda Matters High School. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's what Michael also my uh, yeah, brother it's, could say. It's, it's, like, it's like everywhere is. Okay. A winner group one, second group yeah. yeah. But as for now, uh, Lady Dubs do, don't know who they are going to play until they finished Tomorrow's watching the games, UCU yeah. game. It's a UCU game that can affect them because it's only UCU that uh, can outsee them that from can, the first yeah, position. Yeah. The other two cannot. They can only come in and become second because yeah. of the points. Uh, well, uh, Lady Dubs are already at eight and those are looking to make seven points. But uh, for UCU, if they make nine, then Lady Dubs go to second position. Yeah, Mike, yeah. Um, uh, let's talk this game, this particular one, the second half for you. Tactically, did the teams come good? Um, yeah, unfortunately for... Uh, that is, uh, I mean, Lady Doves did manage to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, the same applies to, uh, that is, uh, uh, the corporates there. But uh, good performance there. I thought um, in the 70th minute, Favour was actually going to be winning it for, for, uh, for that is, uh, she corporates. That was a brilliant, brilliant chance. He, on any other day, you would have come. This remind me of yesterday's game where Manchester United was playing uh, uh, is uh, Roma. Roma. Yeah, Cavani missed such a glorious chance like that. Uh, and I mean, if, if you look at it broadly, they'll go back, Favour will go back and say, if they go bow, uh, bow out of this uh, competition, he'll probably take, uh, take a look at that moment and say maybe probably this was a chance that we had got. And I think it was the only moment that I probably saw uh, in the seventh mi minute, uh, 70th minute that uh, could have resulted into, uh, that is a separation of b between these two sides. But overall, very, very outstanding performance from these sides. And uh, the quality of the football we are watching from these girls is absolutely very good. Yeah, as I remind you guys that the mood at UBC is still somber. We've lost a colleague, Robert Kagoro, and as I speak of now, we are paying our last respects in the UBC compound. Anyone in the public is anyone in the public is uh, free to come down to pay their last, last respects to a man who has served journalism with all his heart. And I continue to say, may perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul rest in internal peace. Fifi, don't talk that. You want to talk that? No, I don't want to talk that. Please don't talk that. Mm -hmm. Let's no. talk uh, tomorrow's games. Yes, yeah. and I assure you, Ghanans, tomorrow you will pardon us. We ain't showing you those games down at the center in Nigeria because we've got to come down to Kampala and show you the biggest of all, the Stambik Uganda Cup round of 16, Express FC Mukwanogu Avanji, Square Pass Moto against Uganda Revenue Authority. Fifi, talk this football. Yeah, as I go into that game, I would also love to tell our viewers that this group has been competitive. In the first group, we had three teams 
nine points. Of course, two uh, went ahead because of a better goal difference. And mm. Kampala Queens uh, could not uh, progress to the next stage because of uh, goal difference. When it comes to this one, already uh, the one at the top has about uh, eight points. And uh, probably uh, UC will be the only one to. So that means that this one has been a bit competitive. That's when you start to draw who will be taking the trophy, uh, considering on who uh, got, uh, got an easy way over an easy run into the finals. Talking about URA Express, I think some Simba. I interviewed him yesterday uh, when Express. Uh, Yesterday, I think yesterday or the day before, when Express uh, were against Tondu Paraka and they won that game, he was like, uh, Express have been the toughest teams so far in the league. They have beaten him home and away. Uh, so that means that he's uh, facing toughest opponents. But of course, uh, friendly affords when it comes to, uh, to uh, football. That Waswabosa is one team, uh, one man that can try uh, to motivate his team no matter what. But again, Waswabosa are just given dollars by Kanso Chiriwachiwanuka. That is motivation <laughs> enough for him to go. Are you a Of course, they have the bonuses. They are welcoming in a new chairman saying goodbye to uh, Mr. Chiza, who just left the team and retired from uh, the authority. But again, they have good players. I don't think uh, the new surrounding chain is coming back. Fufa not giving him the chance to come back to URA. You have a Shafiq Kajim who is doing so well. Uh, you have the likes of Rothomio. You have a very good defense in um, Boa, Paul Patrick. Sometimes uh, a coward because sometimes he rules himself out of the big games. But you have Hudmulichi. Mm, believe me, you have Jeraz, 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 Seruide. Jeraz. Yeah. And uh, the <laughs> people in Tereka love to call Chinye. Yeah. Uh, believe those ones can see it through, but again, Express, when you have Murushid, Lumu Yisa, mm. you have Enoko Walusim, uh, come into oh, this okay. young man, Yamukama. Oh, we shall talk about <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> 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 Mike Puviru. <laughs> Mike Puviru, <laughs> <Mike, laughs> let's not talk football here. Let's, let's talk, let's talk the FUFA Women's Super League. Let's, let's just simply respect these guys mm. that are putting in all they can in a 9 a.m. fixture. I, sh I think these girls are doing a wonderful job, but uh, um, uh, Mike, we, sorry, Eddie. No, no, Mike, mm. Mm. we come to the end of uh, the group tomorrow mm. and two big games coming up. The Shiko Press against Isra and of course you see Uledi Kajinos against Olida. That is the one to watch. I and think I'm certain they're going to play it simultaneously. But talk Ugandans through uh, those two games that are coming up to determine who joins the playoffs. I think uh, the big one will be, uh, that is uh, the game between Olida. And you see you and you see you that's, that's definitely it's a it's a decider it's going to yeah. be a blockbuster ask me why because uh, either of the two needs uh, all the three points uh, to actually join uh, that is um, uh, lady, lady Dubs. Dubs into the uh, exactly and um, if you are if you're one of those uh, i mean if if you're into uh, if you're a purist and you're looking at these two games then probably you would know that you are in for uh, i mean a very good menu for for you Okay, Vivi, yes. as we come to the end of this, yeah. 30 seconds, just help summarize. No, I'll just love to tell you, Ganans, to come, of course, pay their last respects to Robert Kagulu. He's just there lying uh, in his casket uh, in the UBC gardens. We are saddened. At first, I could not hold it, but uh, because I know his legacy will continue to live, he was president of uh, the journalists, that is Uganda Journalist Association. Uja, and uh, he led so well, humble man he was, but uh, then it's God who decides, gives and takes away. At all of us, it's a chance to reflect on our lives. Uh, those in Ramadan uh, continue praying for the deceased and continue praying for us uh, living. For those who still have a chance to impact on the lives of others, uh, my uh, statement is Enodunie Tumalidamwerele. Okay, Mike. Yeah, of course, I would also still do the same. Um, well, probably. I was um, listening to Fifi in the morning with Kasasa, and uh, she was so emotional. Um, for the first time, I had her almost breaking down on air. It wasn't really very easy. But uh, guys out there, let's watch out for our lives. Let's, uh, let's stay simple. And uh, for those who are, you know, making these mistakes, please, um, it's, it's not easy for, for you to lose someone until when it happens to you. So let's just calm down and, uh, you know, be responsible citizens. And for the game of football, of course, uh, we love you and we appreciate all the support you have given to, to us and as, as well as uh, the FUFA Super Women League. Tomorrow, of course, like Ban said, we're coming back with uh, the Stambik Uganda Cup. And for me, I want to go into what they started with. I'll talk football and music. If you're a music fan, please. Magic 100 FM this evening, our man Nasa Nasa is going to rock and be sure, be sure he'll give you all the updates there are in the world about anything that you'd like to hear in your, in your, in your ears. Nasa Nasa, a great show. Magic 100 FM, make it a bet tonight till the morning. From me, John Band Center, man, the rest of the team in Kampala, it's been massive. Thanks, Fufa. Thanks, UBC. And thanks the guys that enable us come to this set. Of course, Nasa Nasa is those and Patrick Rotoro and the guys in control. My producer, Fakul, you're massive. Fiona, Naturinda.
God bless you Ugandans. Catch you again tomorrow. When the Stambik Uganda Cup is what we show. Express FC at home against URA. First leg. Bye-bye. What does it mean to be closer together? It's taking the last bus home for a surprise visit. Closer together is strangers finding a connection. It's bringing home something much more than a box. It's the warmth of home or the beginning of something new. There's magic in sharing the things that we love because it's those things that bring us close together. Okay, thank you, bonsoir. And so in Paris, la raison d'être for two of the hyper-modern, hyper-moneyed, hyper-powers of the European game. And so, as Pep himself has instructed his players, enjoy. This is truly to be relished, some of the planet's continent's greatest prize. Luan has certainly played up top for them fruitfully over the course of this campaign, as well as Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne. He's rolled up here towards Neymar, who gets away the first shot of the game, but Edison's behind it. The pattern of the game in a nutshell. Bernardo Silva and De Bruyne. It's rolled up here towards Neymar, who gets away the first shot of the game, but Edison's behind it. The pattern of the game in a nutshell. The game, but 